Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Hey everyone, what's up? I'm testing a new wireless microphone system here. It is called the MCO Plus UHF WMU48. This is a $99 system, so let's see how it holds up. It's a somewhat compact system. It's pretty light. Here's the transmitter, which is connected to a lav mic, which I'm talking to right now. So this audio you're hearing right now is coming from this mic system. So I'm just gonna do some simple sound tests in this video and range tests. Cause if this thing works really well for $99, this is gonna be a pretty good deal for you. What do you think of the sound so far? In the box, it comes with the receiver and the transmitter, and then also two cables, one that can go to your smartphone and then one that can go into your camera. And then it also comes with a lav mic. Both the receiver and transmitter look like this, almost identical. It's really, they're really light. Um, I accidentally pressed the mute button right there. So I guess if you just press this, it'll mute your audio. So that's something to be aware of. It has 48 different channels that you can choose from. So I guess you just have to make sure the channel on the receiver and the transmitter are the same so that it links up. You can choose between stereo and mono. I'm not sure why there's that option. Maybe if you have a second transmitter, you could use the stereo option to split your channels up in post. Physically looking at these things, I accidentally pressed the mute button again right there. They charge via USB-C. There's also a USB-C cable in the box. And it comes with this nice carrying case too. It comes with a case. Physically speaking, I like how these are very light. If it was clipped on to me on my pants or something, it's not gonna put weight or have my pants start to sag because some bigger mic systems, it can actually put some weight on your pants and like make your pants drop a little bit. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and jump into some testing and then I'll give some of my thoughts. All right, this is the first test. I'm using my Sony a6300. The volume on the camera is at one and then the volume on the transmitter is at six. Here's what it sounds like in the bathroom, a very echoey environment. So this is just what it would sound like in an echoey environment. All right, this is gonna be a range test. I'm gonna walk all the way down, see how far it can go. How's the range on this? I'm still talking, especially as I'm faced away from the receiver. How does it sound? Is it still working? If I go all the way to the end of the hallway, let's see if it can reach all the way here. And also this hallway is super echoey. So how does this mic sound in this very echoey environment? Can you still hear me? Is the range still coming in? Good, I'm reaching the end of the hallway. I would say it's at least 100 feet away. Um, I'm not sure when you would want to use the mic this far away. Can you still hear me? Now I'm all at the end of the hallway. How does it sound? All right, now let's compare it against one of the most popular systems, which is the Rode Wireless Go microphone. So how is the sound of this straight into camera compared to the sound of the Rode Wireless Go straight out of the microphone. I'll show on the screen which mic is being used. All right, there you have some tests. What did you guys think? In my opinion, the mic isn't bad. Actually, I think it sounds better out of the box than the Rode Wireless Go microphone system. For $99, I think this is a pretty good deal if you don't need the ultra portability of the Rode Wireless Go system. The sound of this microphone can be improved quite a lot if you do just some light EQ work in post-production. Here's a sample with the EQ applied. All right, this is the first test. I'm using my Sony a6300. The volume on the camera is at one and then the volume on the transmitter is at six. For the range test, I think the range is good. I don't think you'd ever really wanna go that far away, but I think after about 50 feet or so, it starts to cut in and out. The thing was in my pocket, so I'm not sure maybe if it was outside hanging on my pants or something, maybe it would have been better. In my case, I would be mainly using this for interviews. So in that case, I think the range should be totally fine. In conclusion, I think this system is definitely worth $99. I don't know what other systems you can find out there for this sort of price. Let me know if you have any ideas of any other systems that are like this with this price point. Let me know if you have any questions or comments about this. Otherwise, that's gonna be it for this video. Make sure to leave it a like if this video was helpful to you and subscribe if you enjoy watching my videos. All right guys, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.